to the power of God, I, I don't know, but there are people God is raising to become mighty vessels. I just saw an anointing rest on you, this role. In the name of Jesus, I don't know where you are, but I pray may that grace now, let it rest upon you and shift you to a new dimension. In the name of Jesus Christ. Welcome to Christocentric Message. On this channel, you are going to get soul-lifting messages, faith-based content, prayer drills, and videos that would help you grow spiritually. Remember to subscribe to the channel, like the video you are about to watch, and comment on it. Stay blessed. Everlasting to everlasting, we declare that you are God, worthy of all our praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Please keep standing, everyone. We're going to pray, but um, um, I'll just step back and allow Ejimi perform a function. Many of you may not know. But tomorrow exactly, Koinonia will be 6, 6, 11 of March. Hallelujah. Now, we're not doing any celebrations. We're not, the time to celebrate will come. But Ejimi will just say a word, charge our hearts, and we'll just lift up a prayer of gratitude. The worship team, very sensitive people. All we have to do is to just say thank you. There's no time for any ceremony. The time will come. Praise the Lord. Ejimi. You are good and your mercy is forever. Exodus chapter 24, verse 15, 16, and 17. It's been six amazing years of God's faithfulness. I don't know how about you, but I'm excited that I have been a part of what God is doing in Koinonia. If you are, please, I need you to put those hands together for Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Very quickly, verse 15. And Moses went up into the mount, and a cloud covered the mount. And the glory of the Lord abode upon Mount Sinai. And the cloud covered it six days. I want us to just put koinonia in that. And the glory of the Lord abode upon, mount, upon koinonia, and the cloud covered it six years. Let's say that together. And the glory of the Lord abode upon Koinonia, and the cloud covered it six years. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm a testimony to the cloud of the great and the mighty things God has done in this place. Through his servant, Apostle Joshua Selman, and through every single person that has keyed into the vision of this ministry. And I want you to see what happened next. It says... And the seventh day he called unto Moses out of the midst of the cloud. 
and the sight of the glory of the Lord was like devouring fire. The Bible lets us know that we are a city that has been set on a hill. We are going to lift up our, our voice and thank God that in the last six years there has been glory in this house. It would have been a pitiful thing if there had been no glory. I want you to look at your life and then begin to say, Lord, thank you. Open your mouth and thank God. Year one, year two, year three, year four, year five, and now the sixth year. Say, Lord, we thank you. Look at every area of your life. The glory of God has been revealed in you, to you, through you. Give God praise. Give God praise. Give God praise. Lord, we're saying thank you. We're saying thank you. We're saying thank you. For many of you, you started out not knowing where God will lead you. See where you are today. See what God has done today. Look at what God has done. All those following us online, give God praise. Give God praise for the glory, undeniable glory. Undeniable glory. Undeniable glory. Undeniable glory. Lord, we say thank you. We are truly grateful. Repato Samariakata Enteberiashata for souls saved, for destinies transformed, for lives touched, bodies healed. Thank you. Repo Samariakate Rendeberiashata Balakato Shataya. We give you praise. We give you praise, Father. We are so grateful. We are so grateful. Thank him. Thank him. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. And Heavenly Father, as a family of faith, we want to say a very big thank you. For thus far you have led us. We thank you for the great and the mighty things that have happened in this glorious house by means of this symbolic and prophetic and apostolic movement called koinonia we are grateful to you lord for the gift of apostle joshua selman to this body we say thank you we say thank you we say thank you we say thank you for lives transformed for souls saved for destinies unlocked for purpose revealed for miracles signs wonders we say thank you jesus and as we enter into this new year it's a new season for us you have called that this is a season of triumph on the left on the right above and beneath we triumph all round in the name of jesus father we thank you the path of the just is, a, is as a shining light it shines brighter and brighter unto the perfect day lord we say that this is just the beginning we give you all the praise we give you all the glory we give you all the praise in jesus name we pray if you believe that the best is yet to come i need you to shout jesus let's slap those hands together god bless you please be seated good evening everyone spiritual intelligence part two Just pray in one minute and say, Lord, visit me, speak to me tonight in the name of Jesus. Go ahead. Pray. Speak to me, O oh God. My destiny depends on it. Speak to me. Oh God. You are my God, and I will ever praise you. Oh God, you are my God, and I will ever serve you. Oh God, you are my 
my guide and I will always follow I will seek you in the morning I will learn to walk in your ways or step by you lead me and I will follow you all of my days hey oh God you are my God and I will ever praise you oh God you are my God and I will ever love you oh God you are my God and I will ever serve you and I will seek you in the morning I will learn to walk in your ways for step by step you're leading us and we will follow you all of our days Lord step by step you lead us Yes, we will follow you. For step by step, you led us. We have followed you. And step by step, you lead us. And we will follow you. Hallelujah. Jesus said that he was the light of the world and he left us with a promise that no man who walked with him will walk in darkness. Lord, we acknowledge your light. We acknowledge your wisdom. I join your people to say thank you. Thank you for everything you have done. We will never, never be able to thank you enough for lives changed. Lord, if there is anything that has happened through my life, if there is anything that has happened through this ministry, we owe it all up to you. And we're not ashamed to say thank you tonight. Receive all the praise. This is what it's all about. And Lord, we decree and declare that we are committed to following you. I'm committed to following you. That you will speak to us and cause that we hear you, even when it does not make sense. Cause us to trust you cause us to believe you may we never be ahead of you oh god may we always allow you to lead in the name of jesus and lord we renew once again as a ministry our covenant of partnership that oh god we remain followers pursuers seekers of your presence seekers of your ways you made your ways known to moses and Lord, we declare in the name of your Son that we will follow. It doesn't matter. We will follow. Regardless of how comfortable or otherwise it is, we will follow you. In the name of Jesus. So Father, we dedicate this moment, very precious moment to you. I thank you for your people, the workers in this ministry, the leaders in this ministry all those connected to this ministry the financial partners who have lifted our hands through their seats and sacrifices those who have labored in secret and in open to see your glory come i pray oh god that you bless them let no man go unrewarded receive all the glory in the name of jesus christ amen and amen god bless you thank you spiritual intelligence I didn't meet the testimonies but I heard everyone rejoicing so I want to believe they were powerful testimonies 
let me just say something before we get to the word um thank you so much for not only believing in the ministry for believing in me and what god is doing in my life i know that you love me i know that you believe me you believe in the anointing thank you so much for your partnership but then i just want to say two things very quickly number one i want you to trust the things you are learning here praise the lord um while we we're on our way back from the trip my mind was on the meeting and i was just thinking there are very anointed men and women of god in this place who i would have easily just called and said look i'm so tired i'm worn out please can i rest have a crusade tomorrow and say look let me just rest bless the people of god by god's grace we're connected to very anointed and blessed people that love me and believe in what god is doing and i could easily just call them and say look come and be a mighty blessing to the people of god i don't do these things by myself just because i am not replaceable that's not the idea there is a picture that the lord has shown me about what he wants us to become are we together now every teaching listen carefully every truth that you hear being shared here was not emotionally fabricated to keep ministry going i wish you understand what goes in to bring every word here i preach an average of two to four messages every week it is hard work to prepare a message very hard work are we together aside from the prayers the preparation the physical constraint the research etc i do these things because there is something god is making us become please i want to encourage everyone don't just believe in me and love me and trust me which i greatly appreciate but submit yourself to the things you are learning these keys will make you become something there is an end some of us by the grace of god are already tasting of this mold we're already seeing how much our lives are becoming some of us are just catching up and others have tested of this for a while but i want to encourage you every series every teaching just follow them the way they are don't try to tamper with any equation you are giving be that childlike and watch something happen in your life are we together i think it's quite arrogant for anyone to not have result and criticize anybody who has it archbishop benson idahosa said um you only have a right to criticize a person when you can do twice what he has done once our society is full of people who believe they know what they are doing and you see the trouble about this pride is that the nonsense will not show now after years of wasting your time you will find out that the bible calls it shadow boxing but the apostle said we have not taught you cunningly devised fables the things you are learning here are not my ideas they are older than me the truths that come here represent the wisdom of god you hear me sing that song though we are few we're surrounded by many who have crossed that river there are people who have crossed this river we are not trying to invent something new there's nothing about the anointing that is new there's nothing about generational impact that is new so i want to encourage us pay attention to these things don't get so familiar and then don't listen no open up your heart don't just write don't just say amen don't just fall down don't just roll believe it receive it in your heart and be diligent be diligent to apply it listen i give you one guarantee let me tell you this and i've been saying this for many years you will never never fail if you listen to what i'm telling you believe me 
there are people who will think these things are just jargons and then after many years the danger is they will now have children and families yet they don't have an idea of the systems of God and they will frustrate a whole generation as a result of their ignorance please I like you to lift your voice in one minute and Lift your voice and pray. And do not take your word lightly. It is capable of changing my life. It is capable of bringing the anointing into my life. Your spirit opens to me the treasures of your word. And I will forever see It's your spirit that opens to me The treasures of your word And I will forever see your name I will see I will see Of the wonders of your word Last week we began a series that is aimed at giving us spiritual intelligence. Please listen. It is dangerous to live in ignorance as to the systems of the spirit. You hear me repeat some of these things again and again. Your victory and my victory in this life is not only dependent on what Christ has done but dependent on our comprehending the same and applying the principles that will make it happen in our lives. The disaster that occur in several lives regardless of what Christ has done is proof that the work of Christ by itself will not bring you results. Are we together? There must be an understanding and we must know how to engage the word and um, there are a number of concepts that we discussed we took one last week which was the spirituality of life that was the first intelligence that the Lord began to walk in our minds and we investigated this very thoroughly life is spiritual how many of you were blessed last week yeah it is important for us to understand the spirituality of life life is not scientific life is not intellectual life is not emotional life is spiritual are we together and the earlier we understood spiritual things and how to navigate the part of life the earlier we came to this understanding the better the swifter our progress would manifest there are so many people who trivialize the spirituality of life and um it is to their detriment everything about your life to this moment is spiritual so we'll continue we'll take on one just four concepts in this series that i believe that the lord wants to burn in our heart number two god is almighty write it down and then listen to me number one life is spiritual that's the first intelligence you need to have if you want to reign. Second, God is almighty. Deuteronomy chapter 10 verse 17. Media, let's work together. Deuteronomy 10, 17. You will never be able to obey God. Listen carefully. You will never be able to do the giant 
things that the Lord desires from you fulfill purpose and assignment if you do not have a revelation of the might of God you can have a revelation of his love you can have a revelation of his goodness but if you want to command victory in your life you need to know that God is not mighty he is all mighty Deuteronomy chapter 10 okay verse 17 let me just read it from here if you have it let's read it together if you don't I'll just read alone one to read for the Lord your God is God of gods a mighty and an awesome God who regarded not persons nor take it reward some version says nor take it bribe it says for the Lord your God is what God of I've taught you what this means that every time one thing is compared against another is trying to show the all-surpassing excellency so he says this Lord your God that you serve he's not just one of the gods he's not just one of the lords please listen this God that we serve is not just the best option of the many he is the only option available there are so many people who cannot obey God today there are so many people who cannot believe God so many pastors businessmen family people are unable to receive the instructions of God are unable to take steps of faith not because they cannot read their Bibles they do not know how mighty and how great God is one of the things that you must burn in your spirit as you begin your journey to greatness is to know that God is mighty mighty Savior he can move the mountains listen to this song my God is mighty to save he is mighty to save forever he's the author of salvation he rose and conquered the grave Jesus conquered there is nothing the Lord will ask me to do that I will be afraid of no I have caught a revelation of how mighty he is the reason why many people cannot obey God is not because they are disobedient they do not know that he is mighty listen look at this come Sam if if I tell Sam I will buy you a car tomorrow he will not just laugh the first thing Sam will do is to look at me and evaluate me my capacity financially based on whatever information he has at his disposal is that true so Sam will look at me if Sam does not know me he will go and ask someone who knows me is this guy wealthy enough to be able to buy you a car at will if he receives a testimony of my ability Sam will now stand and say I can believe you is that true if I if I say right now everyone in Koinonia just be listening to me welfare department go and buy minerals just pass it around you will never look and say apostle don't deceive us how much is minerals are we together so it's easy to believe me because subconsciously you have an understanding that i am able now if i say everybody just sit down we're going to pass car keys around you will say amen but what you mean is the prophecy for car keys because you look around and imagine so when god says i will bless you your understanding of him will judge what he has said and you say lord I trust you but it's well uh, you have a track record of fooling men God is almighty so God can speak to you and say son do this do that let me tell you something God never gives you instructions based on your ability he speaks to you as though he's talking to himself so don't be surprised to hear how how challenging his instructions will come when God speaks to you he speaks to himself so he's not going to degrade his standards just because your mind is trying to comprehend him are we together it's up to you 
by the ministry of the word and the spirit to rise in understanding and get to a point where you will count him faithful that was the testimony of abraham the bible says abraham although he was an hundred years he counted god faithful and so he wavered not at his faith through unbelief one day god will stand up and say son it's time to build a big cathedral son it's time to do this i would be stupid to stand and say god don't don't disappoint me no no i have made promises to people as a man and i've seen how they just rejoiced oh i will give you 10 naira i will help you to pay your school fees and they jump i've not given them any money didn't give them any check they just started jumping around what if i change my mind you don't think i will so you are happy our unbelief is proof we do not know god is almighty so when he told you you will marry you are still asking him question lord can't you just give me date and let two of us rest <laughs> I will bless you and you will prosper. Oh God, when? When? Do you know? Do you know worry is a sign of lack of faith? Worry, believe me when I tell you this, it's an uncomfortable truth. Worry is a sign of lack of faith. No. When he's in charge, when you are in charge with him, there is no reason no reason no reason this is the revelation that is responsible for confidence when you see people move around it's not as if there is a charm in their pocket but i know whom i have believed and i am persuaded that he is able looking at the great things that god has done today ENI is not six years. It's just Koinonia that is six years. The meeting here. But even at this, it is still a humbling experience. Watching the things that God has done by His grace. Seeing the many things. Seeing His word come to pass. Do you believe Him? Do you truly believe God? Don't tell me you believe God until you know that He is mighty not just that he's mighty he's willing to hold your hands when a man is willing to help you and you know that person has capacity to help you you trust him the word trust is from the word bata is best described pastor alpha's son is not even considering whether his father's hand is tired he's sitting happily and playing while the father takes responsibility for bringing the child here it's called trust the child has had a track record in his little life that my father loves me but my father is also strong strong enough and so he can afford to move around not minding whether the father is uncomfortable or not did god ever tell you he's tired of holding you did god ever tell you he he needed assistance his hand was paining him god is not moses the keeper of israel the bible says he neither sleeps what kind of a being is that you don't sleep nor slumber the bible says there is no searching of his understanding there's too much unbelief there are very few people that believe god you see it in their lives although they claim they trust him but the, 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 the way we act shows we don't trust him. I believe him. That's the song. He's able. He's able. He's able to bless you. He's able to keep you. He's able to bring his word to pass in your life. God is almighty. He's not going to borrow power from someone else and return it. No. He didn't store the power somewhere else. He's not signing like a check, like you go to the bank and plead with them to do a transfer. No. He is almighty. No man voted him into power. Listen. He doesn't store his anointing somewhere and he's insecure if they will take it. The Bible says, once have I spoken twice have you heard uh -huh, help me that all all 
all he never said he's the only one who can use it but he said it belongs to him alone witches can use it by certain manipulations of the laws of the spirit but hear me brothers and sisters all power the power to make wealth kabaratoshia the power for favor the power for increase the power for breakthrough the power for children the power that swallows up challenges that power belongs to god notice listen let me tell you ask anyone who knows me i thank god i've taught you about the gift of men i've taught you about the ministry of men but god cursed be i the day i will leave god to put my eye in a mortal man believing that he's the one who will help me look in my little life i have seen the inconsistencies of men it is foolish for me to sit down and tie my destiny to the word of a man no sir no sir no sir i judge him faithful i can tell you i want to help you and get angry tomorrow and say pastor alpha you offended me i will punish you i won't help you again that's a man for you i can say i want to help you but me too i was expecting help from some, from somebody how powerless that can be you are standing in the middle of help to help but there's no helper of god he checked around and nobody was greater than him so he swore by his name that by these two immutable things it is impossible Listen, I'm speaking to someone here. You better believe God and say, Lord, if you spoke to me about your, my destiny, let's go. I believe. I like Joshua and Caleb. He said, let us go up at once. Look at David. Who is this uncircumcised Philistine? The, 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 this, all this fear about our lives Fear about the future, fear about ministry. Will I be rich? Will I marry? Will I have children? How many? Will my pregnancy stay? Will I die? Will a plane crash? Will a car jam me? All those things are results. Hear me. Will crowds come for my meeting? What if they get angry one day and don't like me again? Those thoughts are a product of a lack of knowledge about how mighty God is. I sing that song again. Savior, He can move the mountain. My God is mighty to save. He is mighty to save forever. Author of salvation, He rose and conquered the grave. Jesus conquered the grave. Savior. talk like this I, I know what some of you are thinking when you hear people talk like this you just say they are lucky I mean you have food to eat you have this thing they kept in front as though we were born like that <laughs> let me tell you something very few people in this life even historically were ever born with any privilege it takes an understanding I remember clearly when the Lord would speak to me in the secret no results no results but i believed him i remember when he told me he would anoint me and he would do great things i remember when he began to give the blueprint of e and i the blueprint of i remember those little instructions he gave on our way to crusade grounds hoping the world will work let me tell you something Jimmy. come come let me tease this guy small i love him he's my friend you see when we started out let me tell you something that time it wasn't like a crowd like this there were few people now I remember clearly I told them that when we went to the crusade ground we we're going to meet all kinds of people blind sick and all of that and I think he thought we we're joking and 
we had already planned that that time everybody was a minister it wasn't like you're in welfare you don't mm -mm. so when it was time to pray you would just choose at random you didn't have the privilege to know what was wrong until you stood in front of the person are we together now and i remember very clearly ejimi then and jakes when i started saying all those things ejimi got troubled one time and he said come on let's let's really find out are we going to how you know trying to find out i hope this anointing works i hope those devils are going to be cast out i remember i, I hope you can remember i remember one of the, the first day of the crusade two of our ladies they now went to meet a woman you remember the story they went to meet a woman who was deaf and dumb you know they came with all the zeal had received impartation we had fasted our lives i mean we're looking like skeletons and then the ladies now laid hands you know oh god you spoke to joshua selman and i'm telling you that woman was just looking like this no miracle no healing it was so embarrassing the ladies tried how many of you know that when you try you go around and go around nothing happens i remember one person a jimmy i think it was a jimmy that wanted to minister to a young boy and the boy looked at him and said can you see that tree sir he said we have tied people on it he said he can go and call what did he say he wants to go to the market and call the other people that are tied so much. yes a very small child i remember the shock on a jimmy's face <laughs> listen we didn't look like much then but we believed him the third day of the crusade the deaf and dumb woman spoke her ears open remember the first day nothing happened it was so embarrassing so embarrassing for the ladies they came and met me i said don't worry try it do it again your faith and then on the third day i just got angry i said okay you people have tried look this woman let's deal with this thing before these villagers kill us here see you know why i'm telling you this and why i called him it was faith i remember while we were preparing for the crusade he took his computer his personal computer he was the only one who had a computer then not a laptop a big screen computer he took everything and put it on sale to carry all the money and supply for the crusade these are hidden stories that you may never never know never knew. i dedicated my scholarship 100 percent 100 percent 100 percent for the crusade sacrifices why because we knew god was mighty at a point we didn't have the money to pay where we lodged people as at that morning we were in trouble so we went to greet the king when we went to greet the king we exchanged pleasantries greeted him in the palace and then prayed for him we had a session with the pastors a pastor's conference it was a wonderful time People sold some seeds plus the seed the king sent. That was how we gathered the money. Listen, there was no assurance. No uncle, no auntie, no partner, but God. Everybody shout, but God. Thank you, Jimmy. I love you. God bless you. But God, when you bring God into the equation, the calculation changes. You have to know that. I had fainted, the Bible says, but God. But God. The psalmist said, if the Lord had not been our help, now may Israel say, if the Lord had not been our help. Listen, every other thing should happen to you but God. I'm prophesying to somebody. The shame should come but God. The interceptor. Every other thing should come but God. The trouble should come but God. When you add God to the equation, the calculation changes. God is not a man that he should lie, nor the son of man that he should repent. One of the mysteries that are responsible for fearsome results, responsible for the strange breakthrough in the lives of men, is absolute trust in God. Based on an understanding of who he is, he says, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. The revelation that he is mighty be strong let your stability be upon that i know i do not have the rent but god is faithful 
I don't know how it will happen. But one thing I know is this God will help me. He said, I will lift up my eyes onto the hills. From whence cometh my help? He says, my help cometh from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. Apostle, my father is dead, I understand, but God is still alive. Apostle, my mother is dead. My sisters have vowed that because I became a Christian, no sponsor. Apostle, there is, there is no helper. No, there is a helper. He's the one who can help men. Look, when God decides to come into your life and help you, you will be scared at the result. There is something called the help of men. We are products. Ebenezer, thus far, has the Lord helped. He says Uzziah prospered because he was marvelously helped of the Lord. There are many people who remove God out of the equation of their lives. So they look at you and say, but I'm more intelligent than you. Why is your life making progress? Because I, I kept, I didn't add God. I put him in front of me. There are many arrogant people believing they, they do every calculation by themselves. Then they say, God, where are you? Just come and join the queue. Some of us have learned. We put God in front and we foolishly follow. Foolishly follow. If he moves this way, wherever we are, we turn back and say, God, let's keep going. He guides me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. He said, yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, what will happen? I shall fear no evil. Why? Not because I'm masculine. For thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Then he says, thou preparest a table for me. In the presence of my enemies, you anoint my head with oil and my cup runs over. Do you trust God? Do you believe God? It's a little teaching, but let me tell you something. Your life will be challenged by circumstances that will require your faith in God. No matter how hardworking you are, a day will come the only person you can cry to. I want you to glue this understanding hold his hands and never let him go you're all i want you're everything Lord. you're all have ever needed you're Wait! Is his presence and his word his presence and his word men will fail you not may fail will fail prepare for it the best and the most reliable of all of us will still fail brothers and sisters please listen to me so that you stop yourself from receiving heart shattering heartbreak I don't trust men no I don't I receive of their ministry but only as accredited by God. I have pledged my life that anything God cannot give me, let no man claim he can give me. No, sir. No, sir. If God cannot lift this ministry, I will be a liar together with any other person who joins me to believe. No. He said, which of you by worrying can add one cubit? One cubit. One strand of hair. Is God blessing us? Everybody say, God is almighty. God is almighty. In, my life. in my life. Say it again. God is almighty, God is almighty. In, my life. in my life. Lift your voice in one minute and say, Lord, I permit you to show your might. 
I'm tired of doubting you. I'm restraining your hand. I'm restraining your hand. Shata sota bakariada. Ah, there is more that you can do. There is more. There is more that you can do. I have restrained your hand through my unbelief. They limited God by saying, Can God, can God, can God bless me in Zaria? Can He bless me in Zaria? Where are the helpers? No. The God I serve is dependable. Dependable, dependable. Hey, dependable God. sit down but in one minute I want you to look at the mountain that has threatened God in your life and I want you to prophesy say my God can handle you lift your voice and pray say it. my God can handle you I may not have what it takes but my God can handle you no my God can handle you pray my God can handle you the shame and reproach I may not be able to do anything about it but my God can handle you the stagnation and delay the lack of results and lack of progress my God can handle you I do not fear my God can handle you You know that song, Sam? In, in this place. place. Sing that song for us. Let your power flow. In this place. I pray for signs and wonder. In this place. Let your healing flow.
Psalms 147 verse 5 quickly I'm shaking unbelief in your life shaking unbelief in your life God is a mighty God he's the almighty not an almighty the almighty no options no one above him no one above him thank you Sam he says great is our Lord and of great what power then he says his understanding this is the mystery behind his power his understanding is infinite now when you meet such a man never leave him his understanding is infinite great is our Lord and of great power he says his understanding his comprehension is infinite I trust him I believe him you know we when Ogun we came in um, left this morning and um, while I just passed the whole Lagos about an expressway down I kept seeing different camps prayer camps belonging to different ministries and I thought for a while one day all of them were in their rooms and God came to them and said I will make you great do you believe me and they were stupid enough to say yes some could not speak English but they said yes mm. had no connection some no education but they said yes it is when the results happen people start admiring you no the mission is follow me if you can have that rugged faith to follow him you will return with a testimony please I want you to bond this every time challenges overwhelm you every time you come to a point where you don't know what to do meditate on the might the might of God I like angel Michael when they started fighting with Lucifer over the body of Moses this is what he said he said I will not bring any railing accusation against you but this is my verdict the Lord I invoke a power greater than me the Lord rebuke you you've been trying to fight many battles on your own it will soon kill you there are some battles that will eat you up on your own there are many young men trying to fight the battle of finances by themselves I'm brilliant I'm not daft you will soon die the, the, the reality of the economy will swallow you up you better humble yourself and say Lord lead me I'm not ashamed to declare that I do not know if you don't lead me the Bible says trust in the Lord with all your heart Proverbs chapter 3 from verse 5 6 says and lean not on your own understanding right it says in all your ways verse 6 now acknowledge him and he will make straight your path seven says be not wise in your own eyes he says fear the Lord and turn away depart all this do you know why many people don't trust God this macho man bold face thing that they want to do to life listen it's good to be bold but we make our boast in the Lord when you remove him out of the question you are boasting and you must defend yourself indeed we make our boast all day long the psalmist says your confidence in life is not just because of your intellectual capacity your confidence in life is not just because you think you went to school go and find out how many graduates are moving around as if they are holding a tissue paper your confidence in life is not because you think you can speak English your confidence is not because you think you look good <sighs> there is one mighty strong strong mighty you threaten me he will answer you mm. you will hear my voice in that equation he will echo and when God speaks everything if you speak to me it's only me that will respond to you but when God speaks everything will answer everything please tap into this understanding I'm giving you spiritual intelligence don't ever say they are basic leave God out of your life and watch the way the enemy will eat you leave the understanding of the almightiness of God and show me how you will ever build a house show me how you will ever build a ministry show me how you will ever build a business it will it will so shock you take God away that is a a, a mountain that cannot be surmounted but bring him into the equation 
and he will cause it to tremble before you now the thing is men don't see him they see only you so they think you are the one doing it alone it's up to you to be smart enough to keep his presence by being an usher and pointing men back to him and say look i know you saw only one person walking but we are two and actually i'm only the second of the two not the first there is one in front of me i am a product of his wisdom i am a product of his leadership there is this treasure he says in earthen vessels that the excellency of power might be of god not of the vessel please repent from this unnecessary vain confidence in yourself i will do this i am smart the way i'm anointed is impossible for me to not have an anointed ministry you are joking go and find out how many people see jesus almost every day and don't have up to 10 people in their church it's not because they are going to hell if it does not give you these keys he says a man can receive nothing except it is given if it is not given to you you can't have it it's impossible what an awesome god you are you're an awesome awesome what an awesome God you are You're an awesome Number three Ready? The third key Man will always have a role to play man will always have a role to play in fulfilling god's word in his life man will always have a role to play i'm giving you spiritual intelligence so you don't waste your time asking why things are not happening man will always have a role to play someone is being delivered already from this statement your role is not taking the place of prophecy but it controls manifestation between thus saith the Lord and it came to pass you have a role Deuteronomy 28 from verse 1 and 2 man will always always the love of God is unconditional but his blessings are conditional the love of God is unconditional but his blessings are conditional Here's what it says and it shall come to pass if thou shalt uh -huh, listen diligently hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God to observe pay attention then number two to do all his commandments which I commanded this day that the Lord thy God will do what set thee on high above all nations of the earth verse 2 and all these blessings shall come on thee and overtake thee what's the condition if thou shall hearken verse 2 just stop there if thou shall hearken to the voice of the lord thy god he didn't say if god speaks he will set you on top as powerful as his voice is it requires a partnership are we together how many believers sit down there is a very sad statement that is used especially around the north that's to mean it was so prepared by god no i believe in the sovereignty of god there are things that are written there is how god can veto in a man's life but it is not in his character to veto over everything are we together so if i'm poor is the will of god if the ministry refuses to grow is the will of god no 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 the will of god is not hidden he has made known unto us the mystery of his will it's clear 
I know the thoughts that I think towards you, Jeremiah 29, 11. Thoughts of peace and not of evil, not of evil, not of evil, not of evil, to bring you a future and an expected end. That means if my life is not bringing me a future and an expected end, I know that something is wrong. I can't sit down stupidly say, no, this, this has to be God. No, no, no. I know his ways. It's not a mystery. I know there are challenges. I know there is a fullness of affliction. I know there are seasons, but I also know that the times are in the hands of God. He said, until the word of the Lord came to him, the word of the Lord tried him, right? But when that word came, he prevailed over it. In the dealings of God with man, you don't suffer forever. No, sir. Understand the ways of God so that you don't sit down giving God thanks over things you should be rebuking. Hallelujah. If the membership of Koinonia begins to reduce, I won't sit down and say it's the will of God. He's driving wrong people. That's nonsense. We know that there is a spirit destroying men because it is the will of God that all men might be saved. All men. There's no such thing as the crowd does not matter. It does. The ministry of the kingdom is a ministry of multitudes. When you understand your partnership, you will know what is demonic. You will know what is a process. You will know what to give thanks for and what to cast and bind. There are too many believers who just sit down and say whatever will be, will be. Unfortunately, it's what you don't like that will be. Are we together? Everybody hates me. They are not nice to me. Say, well, maybe that's how my life is. It will continue like that. You have not sat down to say, could there be the manifestation of an evil spirit in my life? That is bringing this rain of bad luck. I'm such a nice personality. But why is it that people cannot help me? When you begin to probe and look at things. Then the Lord will show you your own role. And say this is what you have neglected. This do. And you will see the hand of God. Everyone say I have a role. Say it loud. I have a role. To play. In the fulfillment of God's word over my life and destiny say it again I have a role to play in the fulfillment of God's word over my life and destiny say it one last time I always have a role to play in the fulfillment of God's word over my life and destiny never allow anybody listen never allow anybody indoctrinate you into believing you will sit down and cross your leg and things will happen no sir even science refuses that even science refuses that nothing moves by itself right yeah the first law of mechanics science people a body remains in a state of uniform motion or a static state till an external force acts upon it otherwise meaning if I leave this here and there is no force acting it will remain there forever your destiny is like this object it will remain in one place the day God wants to change I know my God he will arise you know your God but you will not arise you provoke his hand to arise for you God will deliver me. You people should just keep watching. No. There is what you must do. Good master, what shall I do to be saved? That's why the man was rich. What shall I do? He knew he had a role to play. Not all God save me. That's what the other guy said on the cross. We are here. It's true. We are thieves. But what did you even say? And Jesus looked at him. The other one said, look, we are sinners. Lord, we take responsibility. Say, you, you will be with me this day. In paradise the other guy still on the cross as a thief and a criminal was not repentant I'm somebody who is obsessed with a sense of responsibility I I detest irresponsibility of any kind especially spiritual irresponsibility if my life will rise is up to God in partnership with my cooperation still on this point I want you to write this down are you getting blessed tonight just listen to what I'm telling you and you'll be surprised to see how your life will change 
write this down still on that point three your part will have to be based on knowledge and understanding your part will have to be based on knowledge and understanding in as much as it is important to take action that action must be based on knowledge and understanding not emotions not suggestions not guessing you see the thing about god is he clarifies what role you have to play moses stretch forth your rod it is a moses just do whatever you want to do i'm just there no stretch forth your rod jericho joshua tell the people to go around jericho specific instruction once every one of the six days and on the seventh day they go seven times after that together with the priest they raise a shout specific rule proverbs chapter 4 verse 7 we we'll look at two scriptures so many people are attempting to cooperate with god but they are doing it in ignorance now when you when you walk in ignorance you alienate yourself from the possibilities that are that are contained in god proverbs 4 verse 7 let's look at it proverbs 4 verse 7 let's turn it here for time's sake proverbs chapter 4 and verse 7 it says wisdom is the principal thing therefore get wisdom then it says and with all thy getting do what get understanding wisdom tells you what to do understanding tells you how to do it wisdom tells you to cook understanding tells you how to combine the ingredients wisdom tells you you have a great destiny understanding tells you the path to take that's why he says thy word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path there are similar roles but they are not the same a light to your path direction a lamp to your feet guidance a light to your path direction listen if you come and you're looking for direction i'll tell you okay go left you're going to see two roads follow the left one turn that's direction but when I tell you let's walk together and we get to a place I say okay move with me that's guidance the Word of God both guides and directs thy word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path so God shows you where to go and guides you on how to go there make sure that you understand what to do before you start doing it don't just say wow this tight let okay since prosperity is tied to tithing and all of that let me just tight you may be taking the action but is it based on knowledge and understanding you can frown your face and come and squeeze an envelope and stand as if you are going to stone god with money and drop it in the offering basket as though you are bribing a man and go back and find out that your heaven still remain closed because it is not the substance it is the understanding the insight is what gives life to the action are you seeing that now yeah so you are praying for the sick and you are saying in the name of jesus be healed but you think he's just about speaking so you are saying be healed be healed be healed and the person is not being healed you are still mentioning the name of jesus in the name of jesus be healed be anointed the power of god will touch people right now everybody you ask them to shout everything i receive shout jesus shout fire shout water shout and everybody's just looking at you like a rock i say you are such a bunch of unbelievers here you are you are trying to insult the grace of god on my life then you start making reference to meetings that's what people do when they don't have result is it not you that came in 1991 remember that meeting <laughs> bible says jesus the same yesterday today and forever don't bring jesus of yesterday for us we want to see the jesus of today alive and strong but that's what happens to people let your action be based on knowledge knowledge okay what is the revelation behind tithing why does tithing open the heavens wow tithing is my spiritual circumcision tithing is my proof of obedience 
tithing is not a proof of love giving is a proof of love tithing is a proof of obedience tithing does not mean you love god tithing just means you are obedient because an exact figure was given to you so i begin to study it i see those who gave their tithe and the results that followed and then light breaks out and now i package my tithe with understanding so i come and while i'm singing i'm in the worship team and i'm trusting that every time i lift up my voice people get blessed i know that it's not just a nice voice and beautiful melodies i go and begin to study what is it about music and worship and i begin to find out ah this is how it works now on the strength of that understanding when i lift a song i'm lifting that song from an understanding that understanding will allow a dimension of the grace of god to flow through that song and you find out that people become a reflection of your understanding never do things because people are doing it spend time to seek knowledge and understanding then you take an enlightened step take an enlightened step everybody is doing business to prosper you too you go and do it no what is the purpose of it Ephesians chapter 4 and verse 18 the Bible talks about those who are alienated alienated from the life of God through ignorance alienated from the life of God through ignorance through ignorance through ignorance are we together yeah there are people who although they are supposed to be working in certain realities they exempted themselves through ignorance being alienated from the life of God and the Bible says through ignorance I am always passionate about a revelation of the areas where I do not know I'm not too proud to learn I always want to know what am I doing wrongly what when I find knowledge that is relevant to me I jump at it with all my heart I know you have been taking action but is it based on insight is it based on revelation you saw people anointing themselves you went to go and buy Goya oil and you brought it and all of a sudden you opened a bottle and drank small rub small on your head rub small on your hand went to sleep and his spirit sat on you 10 minutes later and he said my god with this oil yes with the oil you carried your bible and put it under your bed and while you slept you had the worst dream even the day you slept watching a film you had a good dream but now you put your bible because it's not in actions revelation there are too many people who don't pay attention to revelation revelation Ephesians 1 17 Paul speaking says for this cause I Paul bow my knees to the father of our Lord Jesus Christ that he may grant unto you the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of him your eyes being enlightened or flooded with light that you may know come into a comprehension come into an understanding of a reality it is important for us to know I like it to say in the name of Jesus Lord take away ignorance from my life say it again take away ignorance you know let me tell you something the little understanding that God has given me about certain kingdom realities the mysteries of the kingdom I watch how people break these laws every day and want to succeed and want to do well I watch pastors break the laws that bring success in ministry I watch business people break the laws that bring success in business I watch leaders break the laws that bring uncommon results I watch people who want the anointing break almost every law that brings it you see enlightenment is very powerful because when you are moving in darkness you don't even know and so you keep trying this is not working but I fasted 30 days I thought at the end of 30 days an angel will appear to me and say from this day I give you a mantle receive it you collect it and, and nothing happens and yet you see how effortless certain people move in the grace and the power of God as though God owes them his presence and power you've got to find out 
it's not just in saying the power of God is moving it's not just in saying this and that and that no as I passed Lagos about an expressway today I saw the predictability of the results of the people you know most of those fathers of faith came from the same background the same background the apostolic church Aladura CAC that background regardless of what they have now so certain foundational things were functional regardless of what the ministry is crowds space they caught a revelation of space they don't buy small things they buy kilometers not plots and expand it i've had the privilege to see photos of some of these ministries in some nations that are racist nations yet they gave them land it's a grace now they may not have as much revelation as you do but sadly they have more results which do you prefer the end of everything brothers and sisters is results hearing is my father glorified that you bear much fruit not that you learn about plants that you bear much fruit you can learn all you can about plants but if you cannot bear fruit you are not glorifying the father your action must be based on light and that means you must contend for light let me tell you how i study i write out the areas of my life where i have seen some measure of result and i celebrate and thank god then i write out the areas in my life where i'm trusting god for results or greater results and then i begin to study from the word of god and secondly from the life of those who have commendably produce results in that area that's how you get results that's how you get results i'm not going to study somebody who is not working in the anointing if i want to work in the anointing i will love the person i will respect the part the fact that he's part of the body but he has nothing to teach me about the anointing it's not working in his life so I will find somebody who represents the hand of God to the degree to which I desire and humbly study to the degree to which I desire. There may be many of them, but I must find the one that reflects my expectation. Then I study. Follow them, the Bible says, who through faith and patience obtain, not are obtaining. They have obtained the promise. hallelujah run away from ignorance run away from it start acting blindly don't just act emotionally the moment you panic blood of jesus holy ghost fire honestly holy ghost fire hey, these demons you are hearing holy ghost you don't know what the fire of the holy ghost does you don't even know whether it exists you don't even know whether the blood of jesus is there and what it should have so you are just praying holy ghost fire holy ghost fire blood of jesus it will never i, I refuse to believe it then you start crying even you you know you didn't believe what you said because at the end you just stop stop praying and say god is this how you leave me May people of confidence arise who know you see when you are walking by light you will not stop regardless of the result because you know the result will show it's like driving right when you are driving somewhere you don't get tired after five minutes and say we've not reached let me park this car you keep moving why because you know you will get there when people start practicing certain things and stop it is because they don't have a revelation that that is the key for every door there is a key you have a bunch of keys in your hands the bible calls them the keys of the kingdom you have to painstakingly find out which one opens which door i can have a bunch of keys in my hands that does not mean the doors will open how many of you have different doors in your homes that have different keys you can see one small and then another one big the keys don't replace themselves you have to know which one there are certain padlocks you open them in a very interesting way there are others you can close your eyes and just chuck it and turn and it opens all in the same house so there are things you can just come and effortlessly solve but there are others you have to look at it with the eyes of the spirit ah this is what i do this is what i do and i get results in the name of jesus christ i pray for you may the days of shadow boxing come to an end in your life efforts 
that are not done out of knowledge efforts that are not done out of out of accuracy you will begin to be circumspect and every action of yours will start producing strange results in the name of Jesus Christ let's take two more and then we'll pray is God speaking to you thank you Jesus number what number four evil still exists write it down evil the reality of darkness the depravity the existence of wickedness the existence of darkness is a revelation that you must comprehend if you want to walk in victory walk in triumph and have spiritual intelligence listen it is not only weakness it is foolishness to ignore the presence of evil evil still exists first john chapter 5 verse 19 let's turn there write it down and turn there. first john 5 19 jesus thank you can you play the guitar too for me binga just follow him and play god wants to do something in this place first john 5 19. it says and we know that we are of god and then it says apologies for the projection issues i'll just read from here you listen to me carefully and we know that we are of god then it says and the whole world lieth it didn't say receives visitation the world is lying like you say this pulpit is lying on a a rug a carpet then it says the whole world lieth where in wickedness listen i want to give you spiritual intelligence the condition to be a victim of any attack from the devil is that you are born not that you do anything wrong or right the moment you find yourself on this side of god's kingdom immediately there is a contention every human being on earth is a potential battle axe satan will not wait till you become one he starts attacking you from birth he knows that everyone born of a woman carries the potential to be used by god are we together yeah apostle what have i done who did i offend have you heard that that culture driven terminology God, this one that demons are against me nothing works in my life i didn't offend anybody you don't have to there is a story that predates your existence listen to the teaching pulling down strongholds and a number of other teachings warfare series i teach there very extensively on the reality of wickedness many of us trivialize it until it attacks you no the bible says woe to them who are at ease in zion scripture clearly tells us that this world living is a warfare living is a warfare i think it's dr paul Enche who says that the world is a battlefield not a playing ground it's a real battlefield just start getting blessed and watch people hate you for doing nothing you are trying to show you have money who did you offend nobody lie down and sleep and let someone not be able to sleep he wakes up and is angry why are you sleeping this is the world we live in you have a neighbor who looks at you and sees you dancing giving glory to god and he says all these arrogant people i will deal with you that begins attacks in your life please listen to me i'm sharing with, i'm giving you spiritual intelligence I have factored in my life that every day of my life until Jesus comes, somebody somewhere hates me enough to want to see me dead. Somebody somewhere hates me enough to go. 
only God knows how many people are in a herbal shrine now calling my name while I'm sleeping only God knows how many people are saying let him have a plane crash this year let him have a car accident this year so that all the mouth is making about the word of God so that people will be discouraged the problem is never the enemies the problem is you but to ignore their presence is a joke the psalmist listen Judas one who was close to Jesus used a kiss a kiss is supposed to be a good thing a sign of love but to someone it was a sign destroy him brothers and sisters hear me I don't mean to insult your civilization but I'm sorry to inform you that witchcraft is real say it after me witchcraft is in everyone's village here everyone is in the city is in Zaria somebody somewhere is looking for blood and they are hoping that your own will be the one they are finding <laughs> you better grow up fast enough to believe what I'm telling you the whole world lieth in wickedness a man goes out in the morning and returns back with a sack letter that was the happiest day of his life but he returned back ask Job Job was minding his business and consultations were happening in the heavenlies and all of a sudden everything began to fail in his life brothers and sisters I can look at a life and know that this life is under attack I have seen marriages under attack all of a sudden love dries up between the husband and wife for no reason the man is angry with the wife you ask him many times I counsel them I say sir what exactly did your wife do he said apostle I can't tell you this is exactly what she has done but I'm tired of this woman I have to look for another one then you know that hell is breaking loose madam why do you hate this man I'm tired I've not enjoyed my marriage from the day we've been married for 17 years not one day of joy madam you didn't laugh on your wedding day not one day of joy not one day of joy <laughs> yet you see videos of happy moments when they dance together not one day of joy and she's planning to leave that guy by Jesus for sure a man prays for the arrival of a child and have you seen people who look at their children and regret that they were married not because the child did anything from the day this child came our finance doesn't stay again what sort of a child is this I don't need a word of knowledge to know that your life is under attack all I need to know is did you say yes to the Lord Jesus Christ do you mean business about your destiny then your life is a project for darkness how can we make the word of God fail in pastor Alpha's life how can we make promise not become that thing how can we frustrate the purposes of God upon Benga's life that's the devil for you let me tell you something with Satan he's a patient fellow don't take his patience as foolishness he can be patient and wait for 20 years until the ministry expands enough for you to not pray again then he comes just like he said he would and destroy your life are we together there are many of us right now I know your life is under attack by your prayer life I see it you don't need a word of knowledge I know your life is under attack by the bitterness Things you never would conceive before are now at work in you. I see the anger and the resentment. You hate everybody for no cause. It's not you. Peter, Peter, Satan desired to sift you like wheat. But I have prayed for you that your faith fail not. And when thou art converted, strengthen thy brethren. I look at a man and know his life is under attack. All doors of finance is closed. Then four children become sick in one day. He's coming. The thief cometh not but to steal. You always see his signature. When he comes, he leaves the traces. A family that were once happy, all of a sudden, from nowhere, you will see the lady will just come. 
with one kind of trouble somewhere the guy will come with one kind of trouble somewhere the guy will start smoking he will come and speak to his father and say from today i'm a man you talk to me i slap you just when he's doing that they sack him from work just when he's doing that something happens his car packs out brothers and sisters it is not a test it is oppression hallelujah all of a sudden mysteriously people start dying within a region have you seen that happen just like in three weeks or one month men fathers of people just go away mothers of people just go away brothers and sisters just go away just like that five people lose their jobs within two weeks in your house don't tell me it's not an attack someone promises you i will give you a job even says complete everything you travel around the last stage someone just wants to sign and say what did you say your name is again femi me i said i will help you call this person for me did i say this guy was part of them you say sir we even drank minerals that day say look i can't remember drinking any minerals leave this place i have seen witchcraft life in the lives of people I have seen families under attack no one rises you rise beyond certain limits the devil will not stop you but one day something happens and it crashes you there are ministries within certain regions that don't reach three years Zaria is one of those places the lifespan of any ministerial impact in this city is three years after three years a scandal must arise or something must arise and destroy you if you survive three years you are truly anointed you see it happen a musician comes into the city they are inviting him to every church they exhaust your grace in two months and dump you they are looking for the next person there is such evil There are men of God like that. There are seasons where they are relevant. For one year, two years, they are the talk of the town. Almost every church invites them. After that, you see them walk upon the street. There are names in this nation and around the world I cannot even begin to mention. People who were inspirations, when you mention them, they represented certain dimensions. Now they are as silent as a dead body. Wickedness is real evil is real one of us here showed me the picture of his father i think it was last week and i saw the man's legs like half of the leg you could see the bones sorry for painting a graphic picture no flesh it had eaten what happened to the man he was sleeping you know went to bed at night and all of a sudden someone fired an arrow to the leg he saw it and woke up just a slight pain a slight pain started eating up when I saw the picture, it was irritating. I said, this is your father's leg? Just imagine dividing my leg by half. Imagine the toes, knees. You are seeing the bones. That's somebody's leg alive today. HIV people who receive their HIV not by a bad living, but from dreams. Are you aware do you know when the enemy rises against you do you have the discernment to know or you just sit down and say we are all like that it's just nigeria you know i've shared with you a, a story I'll, I'll, I'll share it here one time i was praying i think i was in a fast and then i was praying and i've shared it here a number of times my the, the ceiling just disappeared like disappeared like that and all of a sudden i saw a big creature big like as tall as this from here up the eyes alone were like the head like my head imagine two of my head that's the eyes and then the tail was like a snake imagine another animal joined to another animal the tail had life of itself it could detach and live its life independently you know how you caught a worm and then the parts are, are, are acting that's how it was and then he looked at me with fierce anger and this is what he told me he said so you think you can bring the people of god into abundance that was a conversation red fiery eyes 
and after that the vision disappeared you think the devil is happy every time you are being transported you think the devil is happy every time you are being delivered you think the devil is happy every time you are being saved being healed you think the devil is happy with this information you are receiving that your life is being changed you think the devil is happy that now you have been taught not to cry at challenges in times of famine you should dance and rejoice you think satan is happy with that mystery so imagine how much he would try to come against me let's do something to this man imagine how he would try to come against koinonia let's do something against koinonia who is like him the lion and the lamb seated on the throne mountains bow down every ocean roll to the lord of lords who is like him the lion and the lamb seated on the throne mountains bow Listen, when you find out that there is a pattern of pain and tragedy, I want you to know that hell is about to break its bank over you. And that is the time to arise. Before the throne, there is the cross. And you must know how to fight your way to victory. This is where spiritual laziness has cheated many of us. This is where the ministry of prayer has been absent in our lives the ministry of engaging the world for victory too much carelessness and people never rise they die at the cross there they die in the grave and there is no resurrection for them hallelujah when everything in your life goes haywire please hear me i understand that here and there one aspect of your life you may be trusting god but when every area of your life is zero if you have been finding out whether it's the devil, I answer your prayer now. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. I know his signature. Everything cannot go wrong at once. Something is wrong somewhere. And so it is important you acknowledge it. And then you lock your door and find out what is the mystery of deliverance. Not what is the mystery of prosperity. What? Why am I not getting a job? No job. No money no favor no open doors no anointing no breakthrough no helpers you are under attack don't wait until it kills you you finish treating yourself now two weeks later it comes back i guarantee you you are under attack the moment stomach pain is getting healed your eye starts as you are taking the last drug for eye your ear starts all of a sudden you hit your leg you're on your way going to your room that little hit you for two weeks there is no bomb that cures it that was not a stone that was more than a stone i remember one day i was praying and i was praying for someone a particular person in this ministry and then when i was praying the lord led me to pray for that person and immediately i was praying you know how you blow somebody on your back physically like i stand behind you and blow that was what i felt physically when i started praying for the person do you know sincerely speaking i had to kneel down and lay my hands the pain was too much and i knew that person's life was under attack ah i said my god you have to arise and help this one i laid hands there no praise and worship let me tell you this there are prayers that prevail there are different kinds of tongues there are tongues for warfare it's not the tongues for just edifying your spirit man you do you know it will change believe me it's because you don't pray that's why you will never get there just speak anything and even you you know it didn't rise the day you lock your door, I'm telling you this, I'm telling you this, you lock your door and say, I'm not going out until there is a change. 
I'm blasting tongues. The spirit of God, you will feel your tongues changing. You will know this is warfare prayer. You may not know what you are saying. Your mind is not fruitful. But at the point, your spirit, the anger of your situation is added to your prayer. You are not laughing, praying nonsense. You are thinking of who is calling. No. You are praying because you know that you are breaking through. And at a point, joy. Mm -hmm. One of the signs of the manifestation of the kingdom. Joy comes to you. And for reasons you cannot explain, you know that victory has been wrought. Peace comes to you. He gives you a sign. I tell you, when you get that sign, start dancing. No power. Hear me. This is how I live my life. When I pray. Listen, let me teach you something. Hold on, please. When I pray, I don't stop until that joy comes i don't do all this i'm praying for 30 minutes one hour if it is in five minutes the joy comes that's when i stop pray you hold the universe you hold every one of us listen there are people here the moment a man appears in your life those spirits arise the lifespan of that relationship it will not pass two months no matter how virtuous you are you thought it was just because you were bad no the best people in your family have gone through the same thing please listen to what i'm telling you i'm giving you keys that will give you victory evil is real hear me if you see crowds like this gathered inside and outside by the grace of God, brothers and sisters, victory was commanded in the realm of the spirit. It didn't just happen. You sit down there and allow Satan to keep blackmailing what you represent. Every time you want to bless people, people say, don't trust Benga. I'm still suspecting him. Don't you know there are spirits that plant deception? you blast them out in prayer someone wants to marry you all of a sudden a stranger arises she does not know she's under the influence of a demon this lady did a and b and c last year no sir the moment he wants to bless you he wants to do business with you and a night before signing the contract what million somebody calls him and say who did i hear you are doing business with be careful you see that let me tell you there are spirits i told you life is spiritual you keep watching things happen in your life you will never rise beyond some levels there are some of you the moment you hold money finances everything will go haywire till it finishes when it finishes everything dies by itself it's an attack it's an attack There are times some of you have received calls from me even in the night you were sleeping and you just had me call you and i said where are you what are you doing oh apostle i'm in this and that and that all right let's pray some of you have, have received calls i just call you I, sometimes i don't even know you you don't ask how i got your phone number i just call you and i say let's pray in the name of jesus a and b i see the numbers in dreams and the lord says call this person there is an attack over their family I just call you and off the phone. You don't even know what happened. Some of you, when the devil is about to buffet you, the Lord uses my face in your dreams. Here he comes, shows up. I tell you, if you see me in your dreams, start dancing. I'm not a herbalist. Believe me, it's a mystery. God used the voice of Eli to speak to Samuel. God uses a grace you honor that represents a ranking that can solve your problem. So when he shows up, he shows up with his covenant of possibilities. It's not Joshua Selman. It's the lamb, the lamb himself using the face of his servant. Listen, don't mind people who preach nonsense around. Say men of God use charm and have at least to my Do it if it's easy to, to make charm. There are men of God I have prayed to command certain miracles in this ministry. And while I went to sleep, certain faces that I respect with respect to the dimension of the desire. Here they come, they walk up. Just like I come to you too. They come and sometimes they just speak a word. Sometimes they lay hands. When you get up, don't just laugh. 
you get up and receive it this is where you miss it you just get up and say i saw apostle and you are smiling you miss your miracle that's the time to dance shada katai is done is over is done is over is done is over listen before this ministry entered a supernatural dimension of prosperity i remember i was sitting i've been praying and practicing this principle but i knew that it, it's like there was a resistance a resistance and that night i prayed my heart out as i was sleeping all of a sudden i was preaching somewhere in canaan land and bishop oyeriko was sitting down david Ipiome was sitting down close to him two men i respect their voice when it comes to the aspect of kingdom well territorial well and they were watching me just like supervising a student on project i was standing on the stage i could not stand very well it was shaking and afterwards i came and oyeriko asked me to empty everything in my pocket on his feet when i dropped it he said no there's still some more i put my hand i dropped everything and he laid hands on me somebody took me to a room i opened the room and i saw dollars i saw pounds i saw naira that was the beginning when that happened koinonia exploded like a charm there are mysteries you don't have spiritual intelligence you will never rise never rise some of you were this close to your breakthrough but you did not know what you saw you thought you had a dream only if you danced for 10 minutes that would have been the end of that problem but you did not know help those under the anointing you will the universe you will January this year I was praying and all of a sudden I was caught up in a vision and then when I was caught up in a vision the second time I would see Papa Adeboe in an encounter not a dream not lying down to dream the first one it was a pastor's conference and then they were serving food in a tray and I was sitting and he pointed me he said come and then I came, I saw pastors looking at me with anger and envy. And he said, sit down here, let's eat. I said, I can never do this. I've been trained to respect. He said, I said, sit down and let's eat. Two of us sat on the ground and we were eating. When I got up then, January, this one happened like 10 years ago. January this year, when God declared that it's the year of triumph, I had that encounter again. He finished doing something and then I came to him. And I can't remember what happened. And then he, I, I, have the, I have it written down. And he looked at me and said, okay, I'm going to pray for you. And he started praying and he was laying hands and he was singing a song in Yoruba. Quietly, just laid hands on me and he was singing a song. And then when he finished singing, he says, now I open up the gates. You know how he's just talking. I open up the gates of influence to you walk in it and he told me bye bye like you tell somebody in Yoruba go you can go I've opened the road brothers and sisters this is how this is what we call encounters you don't know it how many encounters have you had and you missed it because if it is not perfected in the realm of the spirit the same way you call somebody and shoot an arrow in the spirit and leave him quietly then in the physical Two weeks, he's still moving alive, but he's dead. He doesn't even know he's dead. You see him and greet him. How are you? He said, in two weeks, it's my birthday. And you laugh at him. You killed him two weeks ago. Yet he's still walking. And one day, he, anything can kill him because he's already dead. Anything. That's the same way when you are blessed in the spirit. Anything can prosper you. It's not about what you do. It's about something that has entered you already. You own the universe. You own shed it in a no 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 no
there are only three ways witchcraft operates i will be teaching you next week and then i will teach you the last point on how to command victory but someone has learned something tonight you have been wasting breakthroughs you finish koinonia and sleep you finish your prayer and sleep and things happen in the realm of the spirit you get up and you don't permit them to happen in this realm don't you know a man must speak for things to manifest you saw your marriage but you got up and you were shy you were embarrassed and you just laughed and said ah don't mock me i'm not talking of all these demonic things where you are moving around no listen it's not every encounter in the spirit that is demonic some things god is telling you the season has come especially when it's it is emphasized two is the number of emphasis three is a shorty is a witness that god has decreed that it should happen but it never happens never happens because there is no spiritual intelligence i don't waste opportunities in my life the greatest of my battles are fought in the realm of the spirit the realm of the spirit the realm of the spirit that's what happens you've not commanded victory in the realm of the spirit you are pasting posters everywhere come for my meeting you are just wasting your money for nothing believe me the victory miracle service is always finished before friday koinonia is always finished before friday you don't come and finish koinonia here it's risky risky you don't come for miracle service and stand on stage and say it's time to be healed foolishness that's not it doesn't happen that way from the foundations of the earth the lamb was slain then it was possible for him to be slain physically if he were not slain in the realm of the spirit he couldn't be, be, be saved physically it always happens first in the realm of the spirit we are going to pray we are going to pray i i feel i feel i feel the air of some warfare prayers we, we, i i just sense in my spirit that we need to pray some warfare prayers listen in the next five minutes i know our time is up but in the next five minutes i release my faith with you and i want us to pray we are going to force doors to open you are not praying to edify your spirit no every pending breakthrough it has been declared it's my season of trial i have seen it in dreams the lord has confirmed it i should be blessed i'm not asking i know it it is a season Pray, pray, Koinonia. It's a season of encounter with the anointing. I cannot remain at this level of grace. There is a dimension. I have seen it. He gave me a witness. He gave me a witness. It's my season of breakthrough. It will not happen like before. Now I have intelligence. I will not waste the dreams. I will not waste the visions. I now understand. I now discern. Every high thing must come down. Every stronghold shall be broken. You wear the beaters crown. You are the God.
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen. Listen. We are praying. There are miracles. There are miracles that should have happened. Stop asking whether it's the will of God. You are going to pray and say, Lord, I allow them to manifest. I partner with you now. I've seen it in my dreams. I saw it in the visions of God. Lift your voice and pray. Come on. Pray. The visions of wealth. I have seen it. The visions of victory. I call you for The visions of victory. The visions of blessing. The visions of says withhold not good from thy brother when it is within thy power to do it say not to him come today come tomorrow God has it now did you hear what I said now I want you to lift your voice and say now break through now break through now break through not next week no not next miracle service now favor now favor now break through come on Cordonia let God touch you. Now anointed. Now anointed. Now grace.
Listen. Never let anything to chance in your life. You will be so disappointed. Never let anything to chance. This is a word for someone. Never let anything to chance. If anything will happen, you will make it happen. Hallelujah. Lift your hands. I want to pray for you. Listen, if you have never believed a prophetic word for any year, believe it now. Believe it now. Thanks be to God who causes us always, always to triumph. I pray for you in the name of Jesus. Every vision you have seen that represent what God wants to happen in your life now and was hijacked by any power in the name of Jesus Christ the son of the living God I command the expectation of God for you as revealed to you I command it to manifest now I command it to manifest now I command it to manifest now. Hear me. Any human agent that partnered with darkness to hijack any aspect of your destiny, let the fire of vengeance. You see, we've been praying vengeance here in the last two weeks. Just follow what God is doing. I command it that has stolen anything from your life, from your family brought you disaster may the God of vengeance arise in judgment this night may the God of vengeance arise in judgment this night whoever will not let you go must go for you whoever will not let your destiny go must go for you I release vengeance the fire of vengeance the fire of vengeance the fire of vengeance the fire of vengeance I decree and declare every power that close your means of breakthrough in the name of Jesus I declare tonight let there be a warfare in the heavenlies we deploy angels we deploy angels the angels of God we declare are they not ministering spirits sent to minister to the heirs of salvation angels we release you war a good warfare release destinies release lives release favor release breakthrough in the name of Jesus Hallelujah. I decree and declare whoever is behind God's schedule for him, God planned that by now there are some realms of anointing you should have entered, some realms of breakthrough. Anyone behind schedule here, I want to push you by prophecy. So take at her. Pay attention. There is a grace for speed. I decree it. In the name of Jesus, upon everyone here behind Shadul, in the name of Jesus, I command you, catch up now, catch up now, 
financially catch up now spiritually catch up now anyone called Barry anyone the devil has vowed that will not marry anyone the devil has vowed to always have disappointment I prophesy again catch up now catch up now listen I don't know the chains that held your legs but in the name of Jesus by the fire that Elijah commanded from heaven I decree and declare may those chains break now for you this night as you sleep may my God show you a sign God is a God of signs God is a God of signs my God show your people signs signs of their victory signs of their breakthrough this is how to receive your portion anything less than this you are playing games this is how you receive what belongs to you the devil will not give it willingly no whoever is yet to have at least one solid testimony from January 2017 in spite of the fact that God has declared you clap for others Hold on, I'm not just saying maybe a casual, there is no one here who has not seen the faithfulness of God. But I'm saying there is nothing striking. You cannot honestly say from January 1 till today, 10th of March, nothing constructive has happened in your life in the name of Jesus, except I be not sent of God. In the name of Jesus, according to the election of God's mercy and grace, I prophesy to you, in seven days from today, in the name of the Lord God who called me, I command breakthrough, 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 return with testimonies, strange breakthrough. Help that lady. Strange breakthroughs. The doors must open. Hear me. Tomorrow, Koinonia will be six by his grace. We are not doing anything online. Leave all those things. Listen. But I want to place a prophecy over tomorrow. Listen. Every time people celebrate birthdays, they reenact what brought the birthday. Correct? If a king is celebrating birthday, he releases prisoners to prove he's a king. I want to place a prophetic word. Malatos Skadabari. I'm not speaking to you by faith. I'm speaking to you by a covenant. By a covenant. I'm not asking you whether you believe me or not. I'm just asking you to listen to me. The Lord that appeared to me the one who revealed to me that I saw a generation crying, I saw men languishing, the one who gave me his presence as a gift and brought the angel of his presence to walk with me, I invoke the covenant of my altar that those scatter breast scatter. I invoke the covenant of my altar oh God arise answer by the covenant I have with you Shake the nation, change your people in the name of Jesus. I place my covenant with God upon your life. Let there be strange results tomorrow. Strange results tomorrow. Strange results tomorrow. Strange results tomorrow. Results tomorrow. All over, hear me. All those connected to this grace, all those connected to this ministry, following online. 
I'm prophesying from 12 midnight tonight until 12 midnight tomorrow. I declare it a day of strange miracles, strange encounters, strange miracles, strange restoration, strange impartation. I declare an unusual release of angels over Zaria. I command it from 12 midnight today. I speak as an apostle of the Lord Jesus Christ. 12 midnight this night. I command unusual angelic activities confirming the mandate, confirming the mantle. Listen. Listen. This is what I want you to do for me. Please listen. This is what I want you to do for me. From 12 midnight tonight, anytime until 12 midnight tomorrow, I want you to pray. Take advantage of this unusual open heavens. I want you to ask whatever it is when you go back. Any long standing case, I want you. This is not by faith. Remember, this is a covenant. It is not, I'm not just saying you are trying. I'm not asking you whether you believe or not. Just do what I'm asking you to do. Use these 24 hours and watch something happen to your life that would never have happened. I declare it as the word of the Lord. I place the word of the Lord upon this prophecy. It must happen. To him who sits on the throne and unto the Lamb. To him who sits on the throne and unto the Lamb. To him who sits on the throne and unto the Lamb. Listen, no sickness survives tomorrow in anyone's body you have never seen me hospitalized you have never seen three put on my hands you have never seen me fail to come for koinonia because i was down i declare no sickness dwells in anyone's body tomorrow hear me whoever will continue to hold your destiny and will not let you go. There is just about two hours. I declare, if they enter tomorrow, holding your destiny, I stand and I command the earth to take their body. I say this in the name of Jesus. Anyone who will not let you go, I say it again. If they cross 12 midnight, this night, I command the earth to take their bodies. your hands and give him thanks. We're out of time. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Keep standing, everyone. We're out of time. But pay attention. This was worth it. I tell you, you will return with strange breakthroughs. Strange breakthroughs. Aside from those under the anointing, There are people here, Overflow 1 and Overflow across the road, listening to me online. What a joy to be part of this meeting. We are teaching on spiritual intelligence. Manipulating mysteries to produce results for people. You are here and you have never truly, listen, please listen, those outside. You have never truly, genuinely, genuinely, handed your life to Jesus you may have come for an altar call but you have never 
please don't let this night pass you by there is a window of opportunity in a strange way there are others you are saying man of god i want to rededicate my life before this 12 midnight i want as the angels of god distribute realities may i be found worthy by the blood so i want to pray for you wherever you are please please before we celebrate the year of a man the year of dominion through the voice of men i pray for you that you will not harden your heart as you hear his voice you want to rededicate your life you want to give your heart to jesus wherever you are please i want you to run we have a few minutes inside and outside probably you came from far someone told you to come for this meeting and while you are listening you may even be a whole family and jesus is saying come out that's why i ask you to come here don't harden your voice remember it will always take god and a man keep coming god bless you god bless you there are people inside here follow them quickly don't wait until someone comes this is a rescue keep coming god bless you this is not all of them this night there are so many outside win that war tonight god is opening you up to a world of opportunity please if you're coming keep coming keep coming the overflow outside you can follow the main door quickly keep coming god bless you what a night koinonia are you celebrating them your sacrifice of praise to god your sacrifice of praise don't sit back the fact that you are uneasy is a sign god is saying come out don't let your friends stop you don't let anyone stop you don't say they are watching me everyone is is working his own salvation with fear and trembling but apostle you don't know what i've done can i still come join them quickly join them i don't care what you have done join them quickly man of god will he still receive me i insulted church i insulted men of god join them he still loves you and he's giving you a new beginning he's giving you a new beginning hallelujah i salute your courage to come out here and stand before the lord some of you are giving your heart to jesus for the first time some of you are rededicating your life genuinely you are tired of not being serious with god it doesn't matter what category you are most welcome i want you to lift your right hand and say this passionately you are not reciting a poem say this sincerely if you are still coming rush and come and catch up with them if you are still coming rush and come and catch up with them say after me jesus is in this place say jesus i know you are crying but try to say it say jesus i love you with all my heart this night i have heard your word and i declare that i need you in my life I'm tired of rebellion I'm tired of mismanaging my life I hand it over to you now I receive Jesus now into my heart to be my Lord and personal Savior from tonight till forever I declare that you are my Lord eternal life is mine right now i receive the grace to move forward and to live for jesus keep your hands lifted and i pray for you father look at the ones you died for they lift their hands to you in total surrender lord i ask that these decisions will be genuine i declare your sins forgiven and i declare that the power of sin hell and the flesh is broken over your life from today you receive a fresh grace and a fresh fire to live for jesus all the days of your life i declare forward ever backward never in the name of the lord jesus whoever holds your destiny must let it go right now in the name of jesus christ hallelujah now look at me it is important not just for you to give your heart to jesus but to find yourself within the company of believers keeping a kingdom community is the key to sustaining kingdom values you can't do it alone you need to be part of a family of believers that can help you we're here every fridays make sure that you join us 
there's someone waving his or her hands um, there's someone waving his hands on behalf of the ushers they are going to welcome you all i want you to do is to just take this way just follow them and please give your correct details we're going to get in touch with you and we'll follow up help that lady under the anointing we will follow up with you and in the name of jesus christ your life will never be the same god bless you just follow the gentleman god bless you koinonia appreciate them appreciate them blessed by this message do not keep the video to yourself share to as many as you can to help them bless check our home page for more of our messages subscribe to the channel comment on it like it see you on our next video bye pray 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 for your destiny the face of development lord grant me the discipline 